Surprise, surprise. Yes, I know. I said I would be off. And I'm actually off. Maybe I'm at the moment swimming in the lake or something. But I wanted to prepare something for you. So I did record this on the Sunday before I left. So you don't forget about me, you know, and maybe you were missing me. And I wanted to give you something. And I want to talk about Forbidden Zone, Farm Forbidden Zone, because I didn't share my opinion yet. And I'm absolutely sure you are interested. At least I hope so. But before I talk about Forbidden Zone, I want to share a fun fact. It's actually a very sad story. I wanted to get the AK-74 and my death skin. Yes, and I spent all of my bonds, all of them. I did 68 spins in total and I don't have the skin yet. I still don't have it, but the skin is going to be in the game for additional two months. So I'm sure I'm going to get it, but it was really frustrating and I just had to like let it out. I, I, I had to share it with you guys. Anyways, ah, it's, it's much better. It's much better. Okay. So forbidden zone. It's, it's good. It's simple as that. It's very good. And um, yeah, I'm going to explain why. So in the lockdown version, we have a loadout requirement of 30,000, right? But I have not been playing that game mode with 30,000 loadouts. I've been always playing that game mode with 100,000, 120,000, 150,000 loadouts. And in that case, I was facing many enemies who were having these weird 50k T3-ish you know, no scope guns with trash ammunition, but somehow they still manage to kill me sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. But in Forbidden, we don't have that because the loadout requirement is 80,000. And from my point of view, it didn't really change too much because I don't need to upgrade my default loadout. I can simply take that and put it into action in the Forbidden Zone. The big difference is that all those players, all those Timmies and not so good players are somewhat boosting their loadouts to be able to jump into the Forbidden Zone in the hope for better loot and, and you know, they, they just try their luck. Which means that if you kill them in the Forbidden Zone, then you're going to have better loot. It's pretty obvious. And also there are players who are even bringing in thermals and thermal sides and T5s and whatnot in the hope that because of their increased loadout, they're going to be able to wipe the lobbies. But we all know that this is not the game. This is not the game where you can just say that I have a better loadout and therefore I'm stronger. I'm going to kill everybody. It's absolutely not true. I have also been doing this mistake or it's not even a mistake, but the game proves me hundred times that even if I have T5 and a good gun, it doesn't mean that I'm stronger. I mean, I am, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to fight everybody in the lobby. For example, in the first game I played in the Forbidden Zone, I had a kill, a T5 guy with an H4, but he had trash ammunition. Don't ask me why, but who plays H4 with M855 bullets? And he actually had two magazines, 60 round magazines, and one of my scopes got bugged or something, so I had to change to that gun and because of that I died with the H4 with the T5 and the game keeps showing that good armor on its own is not enough let's jump back to the guys who bring in a good loadout into forbidden but they don't have the required skill to handle those guns or you know that equipment um you know we're gonna benefit from that because you are going to be able to kill those guys even if you are running t4 even if you are not having like a 300,000 loadout you can still beat those guys and then extract with a fortune this is why i feel forbidden is better in general of course, you are going to face real chads, real chad squads and thermal players and thermal players who have experience with thermals, not just the thermal players who pick up the thermal and then die. Those guys who actually know how to smoke the area, how to defend the teammates who is also running thermals. You're going to have these guys, of course, but 
I, I don't think they're gonna be in all of the lobbies. I don't think because the game mode is new and many of the players are trying their luck in the Forbidden Zone. And they're doing that because they know that the loot is going to be better. I mean, the loot they can get from other players and also the loot that is available on the map. And, you know, I'm gonna let you watch the video in a second. I'm gonna shut up in a second. Just, just, just bear with me. I, I have just one more thought or two more thoughts and then you can, you know, quietly watch the video I'm sharing. Anyways, so loot is better, right? I mean, I guess it's better. I've been opening the main guest room once, there was no red. I've been opening the room 201 also once, there was no red item. But the loot m must be better, right? It must be better than in the lockdown version. And in the lockdown version, the loot isn't bad. So that's tempting and players will want to play Forbidden Zone in hope for a good loot, which absolutely makes sense. And I would encourage you to play Forbidden Zone. I would recommend you to play Forbidden Zone. Get get used to it. And if you feel that there's a thermal like guy or squad ahead of you, then just hide, don't fight them. It's not necessary to do all of the fights. You can sometimes decide to not to do the fights. So I'm happy about the Forbidden Zone. The only thing that is remaining, guys, is to have a nice day, to shoot loot, subscribe, to like the video, to share the video, to talk about the video with your friends, to sing the Ruga Boom and Shady songs while you're watching the video, um, to join my Discord and have a nice day. I said that already. But anyways, I'm going to be back soon, okay? Sunday or latest next Monday. Until then, take care and uh, see you next time. Shady out. Bye.